One of the best additions that eBay has made for not only sports card sellers but all types of sellers is the ability to list multiple listings at the same time using the multi-listing tool. In today's video we're going to look at the multi-listing tool and talk through everything you need to know to save some time when you're on eBay. But first, here's the intro. So last year I made a video about how to list multiple auctions at the same time using this tool and since then it's changed quite a bit, but that's one of our most popular videos ever, so I figured it would be fair to do a 2024-2025 update with all the latest additions that they've made. And this video, obviously, like, we're a sports card channel, so if you're here, we're gonna be talking about sports cards, but if you're an eBay seller in any category, this will still help you as well, save some time. So. This video in particular, hope it helps you no matter what you're selling on eBay. But stick around for other eBay tips. Hit that subscribe button. So let's check out the multi-listing tool. But before we dive in, I want to say this video is brought to you by your friends at Cardlines Breaks. Yeah, it's another home-cooked app. But every Tuesday and Thursday, we are ripping boxes and it's some of our favorite products. To participate, all you have to do is go to cardlines.com breaks. And then you can click right here and it takes you to the Cardlines eBay. And then you can just check it out on the Pick Your Team auctions by whatever team that you're trying to pull. And then join us on our YouTube for the live stream. It's on this very YouTube channel. So all you have to do is just hit the subscribe button and then ring the channel notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as we go live at 8 p.m. Depending on where you live, time zones are a thing. And the best thing is all the cards that we're listing in this very video for the multi-listings are something that I got from a card lines break. I bought the Washington Nationals for Elite Extra. I paid like $45 for it and got a ton of Dylan Cruz cards, including this low numbered autograph. So we're going to get all of them listed. Now let's go to eBay. All right, so we are going to start by going to eBay and you just click on the sell button. It's going to take you, last time I made this video, it was a little bit harder to find. Now you get this option right here, create listing. If you click the drop down, you get multiple listings and multiple listings from photos. We're going to make a video about that here in a bit for sports trading cards only. Right now it's just for sports cards. I've experimented with it and you can tell it's in beta still. I think it could be super useful at some point, but not right yet. So I just clicked on multiple listings and now the first thing we're gonna do is fill out all the required information we possibly can. So all these cards are Dylan Cruz cards and one of the first things I did is I scanned all of them because I just wanted to be kind of prepped for moving in. So we have a jersey card, we have a couple different rookies. These are both numbered. I'm doing a six card lot of unnumbered rookie cards in the back of these cards. Oh, I also got four different Nationals prospects autographs. So uh, I'm not sure who they all are, but we're gonna just list them as a lot of four. Maybe a Nationals fan will buy it at some point, not sure. Anyways, I got all the pictures done. That's the big takeaway here. So for the first one, I'm just going to start with the autograph because I think that makes the most sense. Dylan Cruz, RC Auto, numbered to 60. I think those are probably the most important things you want to convey to the buyer just right off the rip. And then I'm going to say rookie. Most people search RC and most people search auto, but we're gonna include rookie autograph because we have the space and somebody might search Dylan Cruz rookie. Format, buy it now, good till canceled. The price, I'm gonna do a hundred bucks. I feel like that's a reasonably fair price on this card. Now offer, start time immediately, three days handling time. All this looks good. So the description, see card scan for details. Feel free to ask any questions, happy to help. Offering free combined shipping, please buy more, I'm begging. So I never take anything too serious. All right, now we're going to add pictures here. So I'm going to open up my scans and then find a picture of the autograph. Nice. I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to say copy listing. And since I have eight total listings, I'm going to do seven and have it copy this seven times. And now, obviously, we need to change out the pictures on all of them. So that's going to be our next step. I might should have copied it before I added pictures because now I'm going to have to remove them every time. But it's not like the biggest deal. Super easy. You just clear them out. You select the pictures you want to add. You add it. And I'm not going to make you watch me do all this. All right. That was actually very quick and easy. It looks like a couple of these are backwards, so I'm going to clean that up, make sure that the actual front of the card is the focus image every time. And now we have the option to do the category, which makes me happy. So, wow, did it? Oh, uh, no. Okay, hold on. All right, so I had to go through and adjust the item category. So all the ones that are singles, now I have this red mark on the status because I have to update the condition. As I mentioned a bit earlier, you have to specify if they're graded or not. And now that it knows that they're sports card singles, it's going to make me say, not in original package or graded. I think you can do what's called a bulk edit, and I'm going to do condition. So on all the ones that are singles, I'm gonna to change to condition type, ungraded, and then I'm gonna say near mint or better, because they just came out of a box, so they should be fine. Now, the last thing basically 
there's two parts. We got to adjust the title and we got to adjust the price. So for the next one, I'm gonna say Panini Elite Extra Edition. The next one is numbered to 275. So I'm gonna say Dylan Cruz RC number 275, Panini Elite Extra Edition, uh, Rookie Prospect. I don't really care to include what kind of subset it is. If you're into that, you certainly can, but I think this is fine. I think this will get the job done and get some eyeballs on the card. And now as I go through these, once again, we will time lapse to save you guys some time. And it was pretty easy. We got it all updated. We have the lots specified as lots. Down here, I didn't really know. It was just a Washington Nationals prospect rookie auto lot and listed their names slash last names. But everything looks all right there to me. And now the prices, I've done a little bit of comping in advance. And now we're going to hit submit all. And we will see. Bang. It's all live. We did good. And then if you go to my listings, here they are. It shows what they all are. All these cards are live. All the new ones are. So pretty excited about that. Super duper easy. And that concludes the video. That's how to use the eBay multi-listing tool. It's a little bit easier to find. It's a little bit more user-friendly than it was last time, especially now that you can do all the bulk edit stuff and copy the listing. So if you know what you're doing, it's going to make your time a lot more efficient anytime you're listing stuff on eBay. Hope this video helped. If it did, comment below. Thanks for the support. See you next time.